Everybody thought you might like an update <laughs> where I am. So I got the uh, mini mill off of the trailer. A little bit of a, not too much of an issue, but the forklift went through, fit through my door. So uh, what we did was the old, old, old trick of putting rollers underneath. And uh, we got it to there. And we stopped because I wanted to have access to the cabinet to uh, hook it up. So I had to change this over from three phase to single phase. And here we go. They said to power it up and make sure everything's on, so it's on power up, everything's good. What I did have to change was this wire up here. And to put it up to the uh, 240 volt, because I did measure and I had 240 volt coming in. And I grounded it. And this seems to be our, the new main transformer. Uh, Looks like other models had a big one way down here, but I don't have that on mine. So everything's good to go. I'd like to home all the cylinders, but uh, servos. But the problem is, it's still on rollers, and I don't want to move around. So the only thing that's a little new is I don't remember this leak when I was hearing it <laughs> run. But there's a shocker, a drain valve on a air regulator is leaking. Hmm. Go figure. So. Everything's all in. I got some cleaning up to do. That means it ran. <laughs> Play with some stuff in here, get to know the control board. I asked them to put a board in for transport and uh, clean it all up. So that's my tour, the two minute tour of the uh, Haas Mini Mill. It's a 2005. So uh, more uh, tomorrow we should have it in place and maybe the main wire run to get up and going. Alright, ciao everyone.